This is Farm Pond, Sherbourne's freshwater lake. It's about 20 to 25 minutes from Wellesley. It's a pretty good drive, but very short for an ecological experiment. It's pretty nice out here. I actually got into this project because my Russian professor recommended me. We needed a translator for the Siberian students, and she was the, the perfect match. Twelve students from Wellesley College travel to Lake Baikal every other year. So I suggested that the biology department bring some of the Russian students over to Wellesley College to participate in our summer research program as a thank you. Wellesley College is a liberal arts college that also cares very much about good teaching in science. Students coming to Wellesley can be scientists themselves in their very first year. It's not going to a traditional class, memorizing a lot of information, but it's in essence very much about creative thinking. And I think students like to explore this possibility uh, within themselves. When they were in the Baikal, they actually noticed how Quickly, scavengers would consume dead fish. And there's a saying in Russia that if the mafia wants to hide a body, they just throw it in Lake Baikal. <laughs> the Wellesley students decided to test this local lore, and we constructed baited traps. In less than 48 hours, all of the fish was gone, and there were hundreds upon hundreds of animals. So we decided to conduct the same experiment that we conducted in Lake Baikal here. We don't really know that much about what nutrients and what toxins are passed from one trophic level to another. We don't even know who's eating who. It's important to know who eats dead fish because it, it helps us better understand the movement of contaminants <laughs> such as mercury, dioxins, PCBs. With the increased urbanization, global warming, and everything that's happening in the 21st century, I think right now, doing research in science is incredibly essential. So that came from 10 meters. The other trap was at two meters. Can, can you get that, can you get that bait out of it? Yeah. Let's open up that bag. Students who major in science could go out in the world and be lawyers, bankers. You could go out and be a senator or a secretary of state. All of these things require considerable innovation uh, from the world of science and technology. So I think it's going to be very important for all students, uh, whether they major in science or whether they major in philosophy or history, to have a good understanding of the scientific process, to understand the scientific method, because we're going to need people in the future to be able to participate in the process of change. Oh, what is that? I have no idea. Look at that. Look, there they are. Oh, oh they're isopods. Beautiful. That's cool. Look at that. We're going to get all of these guys out of that trap. We're hoping we can convert her into a biomaster. <laughs> I think she's interested in environmental science. I'm an international relations potential major. Actually, when I showed up to Wellesley, I was convinced I was going to major in neuroscience. I was going to go to med school. I was going to become an amazing neurologist. And then I got here and I figured out that there's 53 majors and if I just limit myself to one, I won't really know what I'm missing out on.